Hey, what's up, YouTube's me, Andrew here. Today I'm doing my full review on the all-new ThinkPad X250. All right, let's get started. The new X250 gets the latest Broadwell U CPUs and physical buttons for your trackpad. Besides those two changes, the design is identical to last year's X240. Lenovo is aiming this at business users that want an ultra portable with excellent battery life, performance, and durability. Let's see if the new X250 delivers. The base model starts at $839 US. Keep in mind that model will only get you a Core i3 processor and four gigabytes of RAM. For $100 more, you can upgrade to 8GB of RAM. The model I have here features a Core i5-5200U, 8GB of RAM, 256GB Samsung SSD, and a 12.5-inch IPS touchscreen. This configuration retails for $1599 US. The design and build quality of the new X250 has been superb. The top features a carbon fiber lid and magnesium alloy base. The overall build quality is very tough. For you business users out there that are always on the go, this laptop has what it takes to be a road warrior. The interior features a magnesium alloy base that feels rigid. Lenovo is also claiming that the materials used in the X250 meets military specifications in terms of durability. You get all of these features that come in a compact size that weighs roughly 3 pounds and measures 0.8 inches thick. There is some mild keyboard flex on the magnesium alloy base, however it's not that much to be concerned of. The palm rest flex is good, so there's nothing to worry about here. Now let's take a look at screen flex. On the top you got that carbon fiber lid that feels very durable. As you can see here, it barely flexes. Now you get a decent amount of ports here on the X250. On the right side, you got your smart card reader, mini display port, USB 3.0 port, your VGA port. I know many of you business users will appreciate the VGA port. Here goes your exhaust port for your fans and your AC charging port. On the right, you got your security lock slot, RJ45 ethernet port, SIM card slot, an SD card reader, USB 3.0 port, and your headset microphone jack combo. The highlights are the RJ45 connection port and the flush mount SD card reader. The only downside here is there's not an HDMI port. You'll have to buy an adapter. There are four displays to choose from. There's the HD TN panel with 200 nits, HD IPS panel with 300 nits, a full HD IPS panel with 400 nits, and my unit which featured a 12.5 inch IPS touchscreen panel with 270 nits. The resolution is 1366 by 768. It is kind of low for today's standard, so if you want the sharpness, go for the 1080p model. The screen is one of the weak points of the X250. Colors are a bit off, but the contrast ratios and brightness levels were good. My Spider 4 Pro results were 71% of sRGB and 54% of Adobe RGB, so you photographers out there that need an accurate color panel, look elsewhere. The strength of this panel is the IPS technology, given if you choose the IPS panel. This panel has excellent viewing angles. For business meetings or watching a movie, this panel does a great job at it. And since this is a ThinkPad laptop, you'll get a display that folds all the way down. This panel features an anti-reflective coating that does a good job of reducing glare. For you guys out there that are always working on projects outside or by windows, you're going to appreciate the coating on this panel. Touchscreen performance has been solid. Scrolling and multi-touch gestures has been highly responsive. Overall, I had a good experience with the touchscreen panel. The keyboard has been awesome. I would even go out to say this is one of the best Ultrabook keyboards out there, even better than the X1 Carbon that I recently reviewed. With a thicker design than many Ultrabooks, the key travel and tactile feedback just makes it an excellent typing experience. You also get a backlit keyboard with two options, either low or high. The backlighting makes it easy to read, and it's also easy on the eyes. One of the biggest changes this year on the X250 is the trackpad. Now you have three physical buttons. Since many loyal ThinkPad users were complaining, Lenovo has now responded based on your feedback. The surface has a nice smooth finish that feels great, and the overall size is good for a 12.5 inch Ultrabook. Two finger scrolling and multi touch gestures have been smooth and precise. Overall, this is one of the best trackpads I have tested thus far. And finally, the track point. The track point has been smooth and precise, just like the trackpad. You also get a fingerprint reader. The accuracy has been good, however, I did encounter a couple of reswipes every now and then. Next up, we're going to test out the HD webcam in action. What's up, YouTube? It's me, Andrew here, testing the webcam quality on the ThinkPad X250. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. My unit featured the Intel Core i5-5200U, which is based off the all-new Broadwell architecture. It has a base clock speed of 2.2 GHz, with a turbo boost up to 2.7 GHz. The performance has been great. Whether you're programming code or just browsing the web, this processor has been quick and efficient. And to back that up, here are the Geekbench 3 performance scores. This is a 64-bit version. For the single-core score, I got 2650. And for the multi-core score, I got 5315. Followed by Cinebench R15, for the CPU score, it got 260 CB. 
And our last benchmark is PC Mark 8 Home Conventional with a score of 2411. With the all new Broadwell architecture, you also get the all new Intel HD Graphics 5500. This year, you can expect an increase of 15 to 20% better performance than the Intel HD 4400. And here are the benchmarks for the 3D Mark Advanced Edition. For the Skydiver Test, I got a score of 2301, followed by Cloudgate, which came in at 4506. And for Cinebench R15 the OpenGL Test, I got a score of 23.85 frames per second. With these kind of scores, you can expect to play games like League of Legends and Minecraft. Next up, let's take a look at the Magnesium Alloy Base. Here you got your four rubber feet. By the way, they feel pretty durable, so I wouldn't worry about them peeling off. Your speaker grill, dock connection port, exhaust port for your fans and CPU, and your second speaker grill. The nice thing about the X250 is the hot swappable batteries with PowerBridge technology. Here I got the 3-cell internal battery pack as well as the 3-cell external battery pack. You can also upgrade to the 6-cell battery pack for $5 more. Keep in mind, if you upgrade to the 6-cell battery pack, that one will pop out much further than the 3-cell battery pack here. Battery performance has been great. I've been able to get around 7 to 8 hours out of full charge with screen brightness at around 60%. Now if you opt for the 6-cell battery pack, you can expect up to 20 hours of battery performance. And here goes the shot that many of you have been waiting for. Here are the internal components of the new ThinkPad X250. First up, you got your Samsung PM851 2.5-inch solid-state drive. The overall performance from this drive has been excellent. You can expect quick boot-up times and responsiveness from this SSD. Followed by your Intel Dual Band Wireless AC7265, this card has good range and the connection has been excellent. I have not encountered any issues on the wireless card. By the way, next to the socketed wireless card, there's an MSATA port where you can use that for an SSD. Next up, you got your one DIMM slot for your RAM. Keep in mind, 8GB of RAM is the maximum amount you can configure with the all-new X250. I know many of you guys have been frustrated with the lack of two DIMM slots. With a bigger chassis than many Ultrabooks, Lenovo could have at least gave us two DIMM slots. Hopefully we will see two DIMM slots next year, but don't get your hopes up, because the T450S has 4GB of onboard RAM and one DIMM slot for your RAM, which gives you a total of 12GB of RAM. I bet Lenovo might choose to go that route again on the new X260. The fan noise levels on this laptop has been good. During casual usage like browsing the web and running office programs, the fan was virtually silent. With that being said, fire up a video or any intense CPU applications and you will hear the fan running. It's not loud and bothersome by any means, so for you business professionals out there that want a smooth running laptop, you will appreciate the fan noise levels on this unit. The two bottom facing speakers has been disappointing. The sound quality and clarity is less than average. I just wish Lenovo would finally put a decent pair in to improve the overall multimedia experience. If you're listening Lenovo, please update the X260 to a better set next year. The all new ThinkPad X250 is an excellent choice for business professionals or anyone that wants a durable notebook with an excellent keyboard, great battery life, and solid performance to get the work done on time. The downsides are the speaker quality, which are less than average, one dim slot for your RAM, and the base 1366 by 768 panel. Come on Lenovo, it's 2015 now. Full HD should be standard on all base models going forward. Alright guys, this completes my full review on the all new ThinkPad X250. If you enjoyed this review, please be sure to hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. Alright, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.